Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Saturday, July 3rd, 2021, and I only know this because tomorrow is Independence Day for us here in the United States. So welcome everybody. Again, my name is Rose. I really like to crochet. I like yarn a lot, and I like to make stitch markers, so go check out my Etsy shop. Um, I have quite a few listings up there. Let me know if you see something you like. Um, I also live in the Chicago area with one daughter. Her nickname is Carrots and we have a bunch of animals so we call this place the zoo. So anyway, so for those of you who are new, we are, uh, this channel along with you guys are doing a year-long donation event for a domestic violence organization that is based here in the Chicago area called Wings. I will have all the links in the description box down below, as well as a list of items that they have requested that we make um, homemade. So uh, crocheted, knitted, uh, loom knitted, sewn on your sewing machine, hand sewn. Um, they um, are asking for handmade items. Uh, so check out the list down below for, uh, this is the last update for June. Um, and I probably will have some more items for June in the next week, uh, just because of stragglers and you know shipping and late postage and late mail and stuff like that. Um, but for this month, the item of the month was shawls. And so we've gotten so many shawls, it's crazy. For next month, which is, or for this month, which is July, they are asking for stress balls. For August, they are asking for hats and scarves and winter wear. And please do not send any um hats and scarves and winter wear until August 1st, please. So today I have 32 donations. And just so you guys know, for the month of June, we received 164 total donations. So I have a lot to go through today. So again, just like in the last video, I'm not going to show you the bags or the boxes, um, but I am going to tell you who sent them and we're going to go through what they are. And then hopefully in the next day or two, I will have all of the, uh, a separate video with all of the thank you winners. Um, it, it's going to be a lot because I'm going to give away all of those Mary Maxim kits and a, a yarn of pur a box of purple yarn and we have all kinds of goodies to give away. So stay tuned. Maybe even tomorrow I should be able to get that video up. Okay. Are you guys ready? Okay. Let's start. The first bag comes from Erica Durante and she is from New Jersey and Erica sent me a card. It's got little triangles on it. And she writes, Dear Rose, I love your YouTube channel. I crocheted this shawl with Karen Cotton Cakes. I used Wine Country Triangle Shawl Pattern. I hope you have a great day. Sincerely, Erica Durante. And she is known as Green Owl Crochet on Etsy. So let me show you the shawl that she sent. And it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, Erica, this is beautiful. I love this. I have a ton of Karen cakes and I haven't really used them. I need to, I mean, I used one. Um, it's so pretty and this is a beautiful, beautiful shawl. So thank you so, so much for sending in this beautiful shawl. I really appreciate it. Um, just so you guys know, all of the people at Wings appreciate all of your donations and I'm pretty sure all of the recipients appreciate them too. Okay, next. The next bag comes from Estella Lance and she is from Georgia and she sent in one shawl and she sent in the ball band. It is a Karen Big Cake. Okay, and she writes on here one cake and it is from Fiber Spider called the Filet Shawl. And for the border, she said she winged it, LOL. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Get it, winged it. Okay, so here it is. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, Estella. It's beautiful. Even the winged border, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Thank you so, so much for sending this to the ladies at Wings. Okay, next. So the next bag comes from Anonymous Amy and she is from Kentucky and she sent a note, says thanks. Oh, it's a long one. She says, Dear Rose, hello friend. Here are a few shawls for wings. I intended to make many more, but life had other plans. This month went by in the blink of an eye. I hope that these shawls bring someone peace, love, and hope. Um, and then she gives me the shawl information and then she's got more to say here. So the cream green and purple shawl 
is from Siren's Crochet on YouTube. She used Red Heart It's a Wrap Rainbow and the pattern is called Crochet Simple and Elegant Beginner Shawl. <gasps> wow, that is so pretty. Wow, and that's a beginner pattern, you guys. That's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then she says, the big teal shawl, it's so soft. <laughs> this is from Bag O'Day Crochet and it's called I Want It All Shawl using Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek DK. The color is pretty in Peacock, which is discontinued. Okay, so I think that is this one. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And it's so huge. And you're right, it's so soft. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then the third one, she says, small blue shawl. And it's a pattern from Hooked by Robin. Oh, we all know this one. Called the Simple Lightweight Summer Shawl. Not sure about the yarn she used. Okay, so um, if you've been watching any of the Wings Update, we have gotten a lot of these Hooked by Robin shawls. And I can see why, because they're beautiful. Okay, so those are the shawls. And then she writes... Um, I have also sent the Notions pouches I talked to you about for thank you gifts for Wings donors. I'm also working on something special for you, but I haven't found the perfect materials just yet. Anyway, thanks for everything. Take care. Your yarny friend, Anonymous Amy. P.S. I opened an Etsy shop for my bags and other things. Have a look. It's called Anonymous Amy Makes. Okay, so she made these adorable Notions pouches. And I think we should include these in, in as one of the thank you gifts for the month of June. And then maybe we do July, August, and September too. How about that? Oh my God, these are beautiful. You did a great job on those, Amy. Thank you so much for donating the pouches and for making the shawls for the ladies at Wings. I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, next. So the next bag comes from Holly Anderson and she is from California and she sent the ball band for the shawl and she actually wrote on the envelope that the pattern is from Marley Bird and it's called the One Ball Shawl. So here it is and it is stunning. I love it. If you guys can see the border there, it is so pretty and I love the mandala ombre yarn. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I need to go and check out this pattern. <laughs> so Holly, thank you so, so much for donating that beautiful, beautiful shawl. I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, next. So the next bag comes from Claire Ferguson and she is from South Carolina. Hi Claire, and she put three shawls in this bag and in each, she put them in individual Ziploc bags and she put the ball band on the bag and she put down what the pattern was so we will all know. Okay, so this first one, does this look familiar, you guys? Look at this, it's the same yarn. Oh my gosh, you guys have amazing taste, right? So this one is, let's see if I can get this right. She says, this is from Bag o Day and it is called the Summer Shawl number 586. So here is this one and that is using Mandala Ombre and she did put a care tag on it as well so the, the ladies will know how to take care of it. That's so pretty. Okay, Claire, these are awesome. Okay, this next one is, um, she used Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel Cotton, and this is a virus shawl, and she used the tutorial from Fiber Spider. So here you go. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. And there again is a care tag for it. And the third one she says is from, it's called the Open Mesh Shawl Tutorial by Hooked by Robin. And it looks like the yarn she used was a Loops and Threads Meandering Serpentine. And that is a Michaels yarn. So this should look familiar for you guys. <laughs> That's awesome, and there is the care tag. Wow, Claire, those three shawls are absolutely beautiful, and thank you so much for including the, the pattern names and showing us the yarn that you use, too. Okay, next. The next bag comes from Shari Miller. She is from Virginia Beach, Virginia, and she sent this beautiful card, 
and she writes, hello, Rose, carrots, and the zoo. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to donate to such a worthy cause. This year I've grown as a maker. For years, I've only made baby blankets and an occasional hat, but through your channel, I've made so much more. This is my very first shawl. I pray the recipient finds it comforting as well. Thank you again for giving me the courage and opportunity. So the pattern on this one is Marley Bird's Super Simple Shawl. And let me show you, it's so pretty. And she included the ball band, so we have the care instructions. And that is Lion Brand Shawl in a Ball. And here you go. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I absolutely love this. Love it, okay. And then she says the color is pastel pixie and the border is part of another ball in the same colorway. LOL, I forgot to save enough yarn for the border. <laughs> I have that problem all the time. Oh, and she says, I've enclosed extra hooks I had. You can keep them or give away. Love you from Shari Miller from Virginia Beach. P.S. Sorry for my lateness. I crochet slow. <laughs> Okay, so she sent me all of these hooks, which are red heart hooks, but I just looked at them and they look like the, the same head as a Susan Bates hook. So thank you so, so much. I am probably going to keep these because I seem to go through hooks a lot. <laughs> okay, next. So the next package comes from Elaine Rusin and she is from Colorado and she sent this beautiful butterfly card. And she writes, hi Rose, thanks for everything you do for Wings and the Yarny community. I had grand plans to make several shawls to share, but life. I will try for more with next month's stress balls. All the best to you, Carrots and the zoo. Oh, she says, and the farm <laughs> from Elaine. P.S. The pattern is by Hooked by Robin called the Spring Shawl. So this one is a little bit different. Oh no, wait, it looks the same. Oh my gosh, I can't tell. It's so pretty. It looks a little bit different than the one that everyone else is. What is this one called again? Hold on. This one is called the Spring Shawl from Hooked by Robin. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Elaine, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so much for bringing this donation, um, for helping me bring these donations over to the ladies at Wings. Okay, next. So the next bag came from Karen and she is from Virginia and she sent me a note and she writes, Hi Rose, I hope you and Carrots are enjoying your summer so far. Here are some shawls for wings for June's donations. The details for the pattern and yarn I used are included. I hope these shawls and all of the beautiful shawls I have seen so far can help bring some comfort to those who need it. Thank you for helping us help others. Take care from Karen. Okay, so let me see if I can find the notes that she left. She actually pinned them to the, to the project. Okay, so this gray one here, the pattern is called Raspberry Croissant Shawl by Yarn Andy on YouTube. And the yarn is Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday DK. Whoops. Okay, let me show you the right way. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I need to go check that pattern out. That is absolutely gorgeous. You never think about doing it in one color, but it looks so nice. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, this next one is, oh, same thing. Pattern is Raspberry Croissant Shawl by Yarn Andy, and the yarn is Lion Brand Mandala Ombre, and the color is Joy. Oh my goodness. You're like me, you find a pattern and you just do it over and over and over and over again. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I have to go find that pattern. <laughs> okay, this next one is a Virus Meets Granny shawl and the yarn is Loops and Threads, Colors, and Karen Simply Soft. Ooh, so this must be really a beautiful combination. Look at that. You would never know, that's two different yarns. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is one of my favorite patterns to do. Okay, and then the last one she sent, she says the pattern is the Saffron Shawl by Circium Crochet, C-I-R-S-I-U-M. And the yarn is Lion Brand Comfy Cotton. So let's check this one out. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. This looks like wings. Oh, it's so beautiful absolutely beautiful wow so karen 
Thank you so, so much for donating these gorgeous, gorgeous shawls. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to go and bring these over there. Okay, next. The next bag comes from Martha Ramirez and she's from Orlando, Florida. And she put a little note on there. It says, thank you, Rose. May God bless you immensely. The shawl is 100% cotton. The pattern is from Krista Co. Design called Lilla Shawl and it's a free crochet pattern for beginners. Okay, so, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Wait till you guys see this. Oops, if I could show you the right way. Here we go, so it starts with like the orange, and then it goes to mustard and purple and lilac, and that lime green, oh my gosh, this is absolutely stunning. I love it, oh my gosh. Martha, this is absolutely beautiful. Could you let us leave a comment and let us know what yarn you used? Because it's really, really pretty. I love it. Okay, you see my, my lap is getting full, so let me get to the next one, guys. The next bag comes from Susan Joyce, and she is from Maryland. Hi, Susan. She wrote on the bag, so we knew what it was. She said this is called the Pineapple Shawl from the Crochet Crowd. She used a 5.5 millimeter hook using a Mega Ball from Hobby in yellow. So check that out. I don't know if I have it the right way. I think I do, but it's a rectangle shawl, and it's all these beautiful pineapple stitches. Oh, my gosh. That's gorgeous. I need to go check that one out. It is so pretty. Susan, thank you so, so much for sending that shawl. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay, next. So the next box comes from Christy and she's from Oklahoma and she sent me a little card. By the way, you guys don't have to send a card. Um, you don't even have to leave a note in the box. If you just write wings on the box, I will know what it's for. All right, she writes, hi Rose, my first donation to wings. The shimmery blue wrap is the crochet shell pico lightweight wrap by Hooked by Robin. So here is this one, it is rectangle. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like super lightweight. Here, I'm gonna show you guys the, the edging there. Oh, that's so adorable. It looks like little, um, like little clovers at the bottom there. That's so pretty. And then she says the colorful shawl is the Just Feel Festive Shawl by Kalisha Ryan. I added borders to both of them. Thank you to all that donate to Wings from Christy. Okay, so here, oh, this is so bright and colorful. I love this. Oh, the border is so pretty too. She did like a shell border on the top. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. Christy, you did an amazing job on both of those shawls and I really appreciate it and I know the ladies at Wings are going to appreciate it too. Okay, next. The next box comes from Debbie and she is from Georgia and she sent this card. Thanks, you're the goat. <laughs> I love that. All right, and she writes, hello, Rose, Carrots, and the Zoo. Carrots is the nickname for my daughter, by the way. She says, I am sending three shawls for June wings donations. Okay, then she tells us what they are, but I think I need my glasses. She has nice penmanship, it's just small. Okay, she writes, the blue virus shawl is a cotton ripple yarn. Okay, so this is the virus shawl. And she said, this is a cotton ripple cake. It's actually a really nice baby blue color. I don't know, my camera does not like blues. Okay, and then she says, the purple and blue is the Beautiful Shells Shawl by Jonah Martinez, and it's also using a Karen cake. Oh, this is so pretty. There we go. I love that, it's beautiful. Here's the whole thing. I love the spots of purple, especially. <laughs> and then um, the last one is the Easy Crochet Shawl from Bag o Day, and that is using a Karen Skinny Cake. Thanks so much for all you do for wings from Debbie Brazil. Okay, so here is the one, this is the Bag o Day pattern. And this one is the one using a Skinny Cake, and it's Bag o Day. She didn't say which pattern it was. She just said it was from Bag o Day. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Gloria S. And I can never pronounce her name. <laughs> so I'm just going to say Gloria S. And she sent me a note and she says, now that I saw your first July Wings video, I know I'm on the right track from Gloria. Okay, so we this is, this is the first July video, but it's for June donations, but it's okay. But she knows, I know what she's talking about. She knows July donations are stressful 
balls. So she sent a whole box of stress balls. So I'm gonna just show you real fast because when it comes time for this, you guys, uh, I'm probably not gonna have time to show each one individually, but she sent 20 stress balls. They're all different sizes and they're all different colors and some of them are sparkly and they're all amazing. So, oh my gosh, Gloria, thank you so much for sending all the stress balls. They are incredible. So this is what we're talking about, guys, for, for the month of July is just stress balls like that. So perfect. Thank you so, so much. So the next box comes from Kim and she is from California. Hi, Kim. She writes on the envelope. Hey, Rose. What's up? And this is the card. It says happiness. Happiness is not a destination. It is a method of life. She writes, hey, Rose, I hope all is well for you, carrots and the zoo. My first shawl made with Bernat Softy Baby Light 3 colorway bright future stripe. So there is the tag or the ball. She said it was easy. Yes, sadly, I did not finish the rock and roll shawl by Bag O' Day, hopefully soon. Not sure you can accept after July. Many blessings from Kim. Well, I'm gonna say if you don't have it done, then don't worry about it because we really need to move on to the next item and I don't know how much more room they have there that they can store because I've already brought them like 300 <laughs> shawls. So anyway, this is the shawl and it's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Kim, for your first shawl, this is incredible. I love it. I think you did an amazing job and I think you should keep making shawls and anyone who is the recipient of one of your shawls will be will feel definitely feel the love that you put into that. So Kim, thank you so so much for sending in that shawl. It's gorgeous. Okay, next. The next box comes from Suzette and she is from Ohio and she sent a thank you card and thank you guys. Okay, she writes um for all that you do just a little a little something um I, I can't read it. <laughs> Hope all is well with you and family. Again, thank you, Suzette. Love your videos. Oh, thank you so much, Suzette. And then she put a little note in there so we knew what, um, what the items were. And she says, so there are two light and lacy crochet poncho shawls. The pattern is YouTube blue eyed style. And I think this is one of them. That's really, really pretty. And then I think this is the other one. Oh, and that's super pretty too. Wow, look at that. And then she says the fringed poncho is YouTube from the crafting shed. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so cool. That is really nice and light and airy. And I promise I will fix that before I put it in the bag. That is so pretty. You did such an amazing job on that. I love that. Okay, and then she sent a bag with some beads and she says one extra baby blanket and paper beads. They're waterproof treated in case they get wet. A little something different. Thank you from Suzette. So there are the beads. Those are so pretty. Thank you so much. And then here is a little baby blanket. So just so that everyone knows, please do not send any baby blankets. They are not requesting them at this time, but I do appreciate you sending this one. It will go to wings. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Kelly Sutherland and she is from Wisconsin, my neighbor up that way. Hi, Kelly. I didn't see a note in the box and that's fine, but she did put a lot of shawls in there and she included the ball band so you guys can see what the yarn was. So this first one is using Yarn Bee Dazzling and that I think you can only get at Hobby Lobby and here it is. And it is very sparkly, but you can't see it on camera. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I absolutely love that. Okay, and then this next one, um, I think is also Yarn Bee Dazzling. And let me show you this shawl. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's not blue. That's just my t-shirt. It's all browns and gray. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh, yeah, that is sparkling too. Okay, this one has the tag on it. It says it is Premier Luna. Oh, I love this. You guys know why I like that one. <laughs> because it's purple. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, this next one also has a tag on it that says Premier Luna. 
So here is this one. What a beautiful variety of colors you have here. All right, this next, okay, so I think that other one was a Premier Dazzling. This I believe is a Lion Brand Shawl in a Ball. And this is so pretty too. I love the sparkles. Oh my gosh, and I wish you guys could see the sparkles on that. <laughs> All right, this next one I think is a Lion Brand Cupcake. And that is so pretty. I just love the bright pink at the bottom. I think that is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, you did so much work. The last one that she sent is Red Heart Huga Charm. And this also has sparkle in it. Oh, and this has like, um, this is one of those rectangle shawls, but it's not like, oh, look at the panels. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then there's fringe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, that is so pretty. And it's like a peachy color. It's hard to see that, but it's peach. It's absolutely beautiful. Kelly, thank you so, so much for sending in all of those gorgeous shawls. The box was popping out of its out of itself, seriously. <laughs> okay, next. So the next box came from Naomi, Naomi, and she is from Pennsylvania. She sent a card, and it says, thanks people like you who show they care are very special and very rare. That's you, Rose. Love your yarny friend, Naomi. Oh, Naomi, you're so sweet. And then she put a little note in here and we've got two shawls and she put them in these nice zippered bags here. So the note reads, I hope these two shawls reach their in time. Oh, she put a little um, stinky thing. <laughs> it's not a stinky thing. Dryer sheet. <laughs> Um, I hope these two shawls reach there in time for Wings donations. These are the patterns I got from YouTube. I just love their channels as much as I love your channel and what you do for Wings. Bag o Day tutorial number 499. Sweet cherry wine shawl made with Karen Cotton Cakes. The color is Candied Lavender. So that's this one right here. And she did write the pattern on there. So that's the Karen cotton cake she used for this one. So this one is the sweet cherry wine. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh, I just love it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, and then she says the next one is Fiber Spider Tutorial 142, the Butterfly Stitch Prayer Shawl made with Karen Cotton Cakes and the color is Grape Jam. So that was this one and it's so pretty. I need to try this pattern for sure. Look at that. Can you guys see the butterflies? That is so pretty. I just love that. You do amazing work, Naomi. They're just beautiful and they smell good too. <laughs> All right, and then she writes, also enclosed are four Red Heart Minis for you. I know you collect these. Not sure if you have these ones, enjoy them. Also a water bottle holder for you. The pattern is from Sarah Satch. I just made my strap longer to go over the shoulder with my busy work hours. I'm just happy I could get these made to send to you. Love and prayers from Naomi. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Look at that, it holds a water bottle. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I walk the dog like three times a day, so he will, um, I'll have something to drink <laughs> and he will too. <laughs> Thank you for that. And then there's some Red Heart Minis. Let me see what they are. So here are the minis that she sent. I have to go check my stash and see if I have these. <laughs> these are so awesome. Thank you so much for sending these. Oh my gosh. I don't know what my obsession is with them, but I, I'm, I'm definitely collecting them. They're just fun. I just love them. Naomi, thank you so much for sending the little minis and the, and the two shawls. This has been so, so amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, next. The next box comes from Janet and she's from Texas and she sent this card. Friends are the flowers in the garden of life. Hi Rose, here is something for wings. For the month of July is one shawl and for August some scarves. P.S. Love your channel from Janet C. Okay, so July was not sh was not shawls, but that's okay because she's got a shawl in here and this is exactly what we need. So thank you so much. Let me show you the shawl first. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at this blue color. Oh my gosh, Janet, what yarn is this? It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Wow, that is so pretty. Okay, and then remember you guys, um, 
August is for um, hats and scarves. So please don't send me any more hats and scarves in July, okay? <laughs> so here is one scarf. It looks like it's made with scarfy. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty and it's so soft. And this is like a super duper thick scarf. And you guys, the reason I'm saying don't send them is because they're not collecting them yet and I don't have anywhere to put this stuff. Um, here is, oh, this is like an infinity scarf. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, Janet, what yarn did you use for that too? Because it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, here is another scarf. And that is so pretty too. Oh, wow. Oh, I love the pattern on that. Okay, and then the last one is also, it looks like an infinity. I don't know what that is. Oh, a cowl. Oh my gosh. And it's like super thick and chunky. <gasps> It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, Janet, thank you so much for sending the shawl and for sending the, the scarves. I do appreciate it. I'm really excited. Um, hopefully I'll only have one small box or bag that I need to hold on to for a month. So, all right, cool. Thank you so much. Next. So the next box comes from my good friend, Ree. Hi, Ree. And she sent me two shawls and she put them each in individual bags and she wrote on the bags for what they were. So this first one is an asymmetrical shawl and she does not say who it's by, but that's okay because if you look at the yarn, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so here is the asymmetrical. Oh my God, look at that pop of color. That is so pretty. <gasps> wow, I just love it. See, I was holding it like that because asymmetrical, but I mean, look at that. It's perfect if you hold it like that too. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Wow, Re, what yarn is this? You gotta tell me. <laughs> and then the next one, she just says, small triangular shawl. And that is fine. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Re, thank you so, so much for sending these two shawls. Oh, look, there's little tassels. They're tassels. <laughs> so Re, thank you so much for sending the two shawls. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, next. The next box comes from Deborah, and she's from Wisconsin and she sent a thank you note. It says, thank you, you are amazing and I'm happy to be a part of helping from Deborah. P.S. the patterns are from Bag O Day. All right, and she also sent me a little bag of teas. Thank you so much for the tea. I already see one that I wanna have <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right, so let's show you this first one. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is the rectangular shawl or a rectangular shawl. I don't know which one it is, but you guys can probably just look up the shawls from Bag O Day. I think this is one of her more recent ones. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that, that's gorgeous. And she sent a shawl pin to go with it and it matches, the colors match. And then she sent another shawl and she sent a shawl pin to match that one too. Okay, so here is this one. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Look at the border. Oh, wow, that is absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. And then here's the pin that she sent to go with that one. So they both match perfectly. I'll make sure that those stay with those. So thank you so, so much, Deborah. That is amazing. Thanks for the thought of sending the shawl pins with them too. Okay, next. The next box comes from Sonia and she is from Kentucky. And this is the card, yum. Oh, okay, it's typed up, but it's really small. So let me see if I can read it here. Hello, Rose, hope all is well with you and your family. I want to first thank you for being such a kind and generous soul in a world full of chaos and confusion. Your videos are very uplifting. I am between beginner and intermediate when it comes to crochet, washcloths, blankets, and bags. But here are a few attempts at me trying to go outside my comfort zone. I have put the pattern name and designer on each of the items. Also enclosed is a sheet with various ways to wear the diagonal shawls. I saw you have received several, so I thought this would help with ideas. Again, thanks so much for all you do, Sonia Neal. Oh my gosh, Sonia, you are amazing. Okay, this first one is the Lacy Wrap Shawl by Sarah Satch. Oh, it's so pretty. You did a marvelous job. Girlfriend, what are you talking about? Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that. 
It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, the next one is called The Lightweight Summer Shawl by Hooked by Robin. <laughs> and everyone knows this one. This is amazing. Wow, Sonia, you are incredible. These are beautiful. And you washed it in something that smells really good too. <laughs> okay, and then this last one, let me see if I can find the little piece of paper. Here is the little piece of paper. She writes, Millennial Shawl by Jeannie Steinhilber, which is the crochet crowd. So this is the Millennial Shawl. Oh, this is what she's talking about, the asymmetrical one. Okay, so, and it's so pretty. It's so long and it's beautiful. And what I'll do is I'll include this with that shawl so that they know. And um, so you guys know, it says 10 ways to style an asymmetrical shawl by Dana Bincer, B-I-N-C-E-R, posted on July 17th, 2019. And it's uh, it's got all kinds of directions in here. So I'll make sure I keep that with this shawl. So thank you so, so much for sending these and for including the names of the patterns. Oh, and she also sent two shawl pins. So those will go with the other two. And that is awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, next. So the next box comes from a fabulous lady named Alyssa, and she actually has a channel here on YouTube, and it's called Anaya's Toy Box. Hi, Alyssa. I will link her down in the description box below. You guys need to go check her out. If you already watch her, then you probably saw her make all these shawls already. All right, she's got the card thinking of you. And there are some stickers in there. So there are some really cool stickers. Grateful, thankful, blessed. And then there is a little puppy dog. And then dogs are greater than people. <laughs> she believed she could, so she did. Dogs are definitely greater than people. I only say that because I have one. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Here are some shawls. I really enjoyed making them and hope that whoever gets them loves them. They are all acrylic and machine washable. The whale is for you to do with whatever you like from Alyssa at Anaya's Toy Box. Okay, so here is the little whale. She is an expert at amigurumi, so I like drool every time I watch her channel because I cannot do amigurumi to save my life. So he is totally, totally cool. I love him. I'll have to see what I'm going to do with him. <laughs> you know what? This would make a good stress ball. Um, let me know if you don't mind if I donate this to Wings because it's so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get to the shawls. All right, so here is the first one, and I can already tell this is a virus meets a granny, and it's gorgeous. Purple and green, my new favorite color combination. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then here is another one. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like curvy. It's curvy at the top or at the edges. Oh, I love it. Alisa. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, here is, it looks like a Just Feel Festive shawl. Oh my gosh, look at, wait till you see all the colors. Okay, so there's blues and then it goes into oranges and beige and yellow and red. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. I love it. Okay, here is another one. Wow, you really stuffed that box. This is a granny, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then here is obviously my favorite one, <laughs> just because it's purple. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty too. That looks like a little, that's a granny one as well. I love it. Oh my gosh, and then here is the last one. Oh, Alyssa, you're so talented. Look at how pretty that one is, you guys. The light blue and the gray, that'll match everything. Wow. So thank you so much, Eliza, for sending all of these beautiful shawls. Um, you guys, please go and check out her channel. She is incredible. Okay, next. So the next box comes from PJ, and PJ is from New Jersey, and she did write on the card, okay to read on air if you want. And it is a sparkly thank you card. And she writes, uh, your generosity is amazing. Thank you for supporting such a great cause from PJ. Oh, PJ, you're welcome. And thank you guys for helping support Wings. I do appreciate it. So these, there's two shawls and they're both so pretty. Okay, so this is a granny. 
my gosh, it's gorgeous. I love this yarn. PJ, what yarn did you use? It's so pretty. So there's one, and this one is just a solid blue. Oh my gosh, I love this one too. It's like shells, it's all shells. It's so pretty, it's like a light blue. Oh my gosh, PJ, you did an amazing job. I just love it. Thank you so much for sending these two beautiful shawls. I really do appreciate it. Okay, next. The next box comes from Connie and she's from Colorado and I did not see a note in the box, but I do see a lot of shawls. So I wanna show you because they're so pretty. Okay, here is the first one. Oh, it's so nice and lacy. It's a butterfly pattern. That is gorgeous. Can you guys see the butterflies? Oh, and it's like the blues to purples. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, Connie, that's amazing. Oh, okay, and here is another one. And this looks like a virus shawl. That is super, super pretty. Oh my gosh, I love the rainbow on that one. Oh, this one is even better, you guys, just because the, it's a pastel -y rainbow one. So let me show you this one. Starts with purple, so you can't go wrong with that. Look at that, these are huge. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is so gorgeous. Okay, here is another one, and this is obviously a shawl in the ball from Lion Brand. And that looks like a virus shawl. So pretty. There you go. Oh my goodness. All right, here is one. Oh, this reminds me of Easter. This looks like Easter colors. So pretty. Here is another virus shawl. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the virus shawl, um, you can get the video tutorial by Fiber Spider here on YouTube. He didn't write the pattern, he just does a tutorial for it. And then here is the last one she sent. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. This must be like a cotton cake or something because it feels cottony and it's gorgeous. Wow, Connie, you outdid yourself. Those are so pretty. I absolutely love them. Thank you so, so much for sending all of those shawls all the way from Colorado. <laughs> all right, next. So the next box comes from Vicki Bramlett. And Vicki, um, you guys probably don't know this, but she is one of my best customers in my Etsy shop. <laughs> You will see in just a second what I mean. Um, she is just awesome. And she sent a box with a shawl and some other items. Here's the card. And it says, uh, Dear Rose, I'm so sorry that my April donation is so late. My family and I have been through the financial ringer, losing three members in six weeks. I am so sorry, Vicki. However, crocheting was my coping mechanism. I did finish a shawl while working on two hexagon blankets. I hope you carrots and your zoo are all well. Sincerely, your yarny friend, Vicki. PPS, there is a tea bag in the mug. And PS, I love all my stitch markers. Okay, this is how many stitch markers Vicki has purchased from me. And there's more because she sent me back some of the bags. So these are all the Ziploc bags. And then these are my purple whatever bags. Here's more. <laughs> And then she even took, I don't know how she stores them, but she took the, them off the little cards and she sent me back my cards. <laughs> oh my gosh. Vicki, next, next couple stitch markers are on me, okay? Because you buy too many from me. So, all right. So let's show you the shawl. And here is the shawl and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's sparkly yarn and it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, Vicki, I am so sorry for your losses and I do appreciate you sending in the shawl. And then she sent in some headbands and some hair scrunchies. So I will make sure to give this bag to Wings and I'm pretty sure that they will be able to use them. So thank you so much for sending those. And then she sent a mug. I wanna see what's in here. So here's the mug. It's a really heavy ceramic mug and it says, see the good and it's got butterflies on it. And then she did put a tea bag in there for me. Vicki, you're so kind. Thank you so much. You didn't need to do that. I do appreciate it. And uh, I hope you and your family are, are healing from that. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Jennifer and she is from Missouri and she did leave a note in the box. 
and she writes, Rose, thank you for accepting these shawls for wings from me. The patterns are from Fiber Spider and the Crochet Crowd. I made varying sizes as there may be some smaller ladies who would like a lighter size. Thank you for all you do for the crochet community. Jennifer Burr from Raymore, Missouri. It is a suburb of Kansas City. All right, so if I'm ever in Kansas City, I'm, I'm hunting you down. <laughs> all right, so here is the first one. Oops, I don't know if you can see that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'm pretty sure that is a Lion Brand Mandala and it's gorgeous. I love that. All right, let's see this one. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, it starts with like these oranges and then it goes down to this like rainbow color. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. That is so beautiful. Wow, Jennifer, I love them. Okay, here is another one. This is a rainbow one. Oh my gosh, can you go wrong with rainbows in the summertime? Nope, you can't. So pretty, oh my gosh. All right, here is another one, and I'm pretty sure this is a mandala too. That's so pretty. That's a perfect size. I think, I think you had a great idea, Jennifer. And then here is, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Gorgeous turquoise aquas. And then look at the border. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for sending in those gorgeous shawls. I really do appreciate it. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Mary and she's from California. Hi, Mary. And she has a long letter here, but I think she has all the patterns for the shawls. Okay, yes, hi Rose. Here is the pattern and yarn info for the enclosed shawls. Okay, the pink and blue multi is a yarn from Hirschner's Mill End Box. So sorry, I don't know what it is, but the pattern is the Leap Frog Granny Shawl Tutorial from Fiber Spider. Okay, that might be this one. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. So here is this shawl. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Yes, I think that's what it is. It's gorgeous. She says, the orange yellow multi yarn is some yarn I acquired quite a while ago from a bag in a Joann's bargain bin. Um, okay, I think it's this one. So not sure what yarn it is. I know it is kind of feels like cotton, but it's probably acrylic. The pattern is the Lacy Crochet Shawl from Yarn Spirations. Hirschner's also has a kit called On Crest of Wave Shawl, which looks like the same thing. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. I've seen someone else has donated one of these too. That is so gorgeous. I absolutely love that. Oh my gosh. Okay, the rectangle shawl is made with Lion Brand Summer Nights. The pattern is Old Country Bridges Shawl Tutorial from Jada in Stitches. Okay, so I think that's this one. So there you go. Wow, that's so pretty. It's kind of hard to see the pattern because of the yarn, but it's gorgeous. I'm looking at it up close. And then as you can tell, the other three triangle shawls are also made with Lion Brand Summer Nights and done in the ever popular Dragon Belly Shawl pattern from MihoCrochet.com. So here is one of them. That's like one of my favorite patterns to do. Here is another. Oh my God, these are so pretty. Oh, I just love how simple the pattern is and it looks so pretty when you're done with it. Oops, here we go. There is the third one. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then she writes, I do apologize for not getting these to you before the end of June. I hope that's not too much of an inconvenience for you. You do so much already. As always, my best to you, Carrots and the Zoo. Your fellow yarn addict, Mary. Mary, you are just in time. Don't even worry about it. It's all good. Thank you so much for taking the time to make all of these beautiful shawls. I mean, it's incredible. Whether you guys donate one item or no items or seven items, it's all very, very much appreciated. And remember, if you can't donate to Wings, donate locally. If you can't donate locally, send out positive vibes for those people who are in need. Okay, next. The next box comes from Stacy, and she is from Wisconsin. So hi, neighbor to the north. I don't think I saw um, a a letter, but we might find it buried in all the shawls. So let's just start. So this one is, oh, this looks like a um, Just Feel Festive 
it's the long rectangle granny and then it comes to the like a decrease wow that one is so pretty oh my gosh and i love the colors you chose for these oh my gosh here is another um oh what is this this looks like a um oh wow i don't know what this one is but it's so pretty oh my goodness I just love it. I think this might be a fest feel just feel festive shawl too. It's just way wider. Yeah, this might be. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. <gasps> wow, how much yarn did you use, <laughs> Stacy? This is awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is definitely a just feel festive shawl. Oh my god, the colors are amazing. And you do beautiful, beautiful work. Oh my gosh. Okay, here is another shawl. Oh, man, you're addicted to these, huh? I know how that feels. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Look at the green and the purple. Stacy, can you tell me what yarn this is? Because I think I need to have this in my life. It's so pretty. <laughs> All right, and then here is the last one. This is not a Just Feel Festive shawl. I only know that because it's triangle. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what shawl this is, but it is super, super pretty. I love the black, the white, and the gray. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Stacy! thank you so much for sending all of these shawls. And she even wrote on the box, open very carefully. <laughs> so we did and they all made it safe. So thank you so much. Okay, we only have a couple more to go, guys. Hang on. The next box was huge. It was from Sharon from Texas. And she says, thanks a bunch. Oh, thanks you guys so much. Hi Rose, I hope my small token of giving of shawls are enjoyed by the recipients. I have included patterns of all but one I couldn't remember of all the shawls. I have been watching all your videos for wings and wanted to be a part of the giving. We all appreciate all you do for wings and are, we are all happy to help you. Thank you. Thanks to you and all the make, makers who have given and continue to give. P.S. This is my first donation. More to come. Sharon, you are awesome. Thank you so much for making your first donation to wings. I so appreciate it and I know they do too. Okay, the note in this one says it is the Lotus Blossom Shawl by Moogly or Tamara Kelly. So you should be able to find that online on YouTube. And here is that shawl. Oh my God, that's beautiful. It's huge. Wow. I know that's using shawl in a ball, but I'm pretty sure you used more than one. <laughs> It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I just love it. I want to wear it. I do. It's so pretty. Okay. This next one is called Such Simple Shawl by Wilma Westenberg of Willmade. Okay. And I think she is on YouTube as well. So here is that shawl. Oh my gosh. It's so light and lacy and pretty. And I think these are shawl in the ball too. Oh my gosh, I have some of that. I need to use it up. This would be perfect. Okay, let's see. This one is the Easy Breezy Shawl by the Purple Iguana on Ravelry. Okay, and the colors are gorgeous. I'm pretty sure this is a mandala. Look at that. Oh, wow. Easy Breezy Shawl. Okay, we're going to have to keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, the next one, let me see if she has a note. Okay, there's no note in this one, which is fine. There you go. This is also shawl and a ball, and it's sparkly and beautiful and big. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Okay, and then let's see if this one has a note. This is the Dragon Belly Shawl by Miho Crochet. One of my favorite patterns. Here we go. So simple, yet so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh, love it. Okay, this one is the Simple Summertime Shawl, Rhonda, Rhonda Mal Dambauka Design. You can probably just look up Simple Summertime Shawl. Okay, so there is this one. Ooh, it's so pretty. All right, here we go, guys. Look at that. So pretty. I love the dark at the bottom. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then this one says, 
The Granny Shawl by Krista Cagle, C-A-G-E-L. There is that one. Whew! Wow, zuh! As I would say normally, shut the front door. That's stunning. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much for sending us all the names of the patterns and for your nice card. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, we only have four more to go. So the next box was super huge and stuffed and I got a card, it says wings on it. And it says, and the caterpillar woke up and stretched and spread her wings and began to fly. And this is from Sharon. Hi, Sharon. She also sent me a note. It's a long one here, so I think she explains the shawls. Yes, she does. Okay, so Rose, I've made these shawls mostly because I like the patterns. Now they can go to a great cause. We spent some time in a domestic violence shelter when I was between 12 and 13, so this matters to me. My mom was one of the people who taught me to crochet. I've been out of work for a bit due to leg and back issues, so I have plenty of time to crochet. Most of my smaller projects go to a shoebox ministry called Operation Christmas Child. Thank you for encouraging crafting for a good cause. Sharon Brooks. P.S. You can view some YouTube videos with me and my daughter under sharing Sharon. Okay, so here we go. So she's got 11 shawls in here. And let me see. Um, there was one in a separate bag. Hang on. So the first one is a wool spun with buttons and this is a virus shawl. So here is the first one. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. Gray with white tones and black and gray sparkly are acrylic and they are the Lost Soul Shawls. Oh my God, these are so cool, you guys. Can you see this? Can you see that? Oh, I wanna do one of these, totally. That is so cool. Sharon, that is amazing, amazing. Okay, so there's one of the Lost Souls, Lost Souls. And here is the second one. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. You guys see the skulls? Oh my gosh. That is amazing, incredible, beautiful. Okay, blue, brown, and gold is a mandala cake. And it is so acrylic yarn. And this is the virus shawl. There's that one. So pretty. I love it. And then she says the Phoenix shawl is acrylic and it is her own design, um, no pattern. Okay, I believe that's this one. Look at that, can you guys see the bird? So amazing. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And even the bottom has like the rainbow. It looks just like a bird. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Okay, and then she's got, um, there's like a whole box here, guys. Sparkly silver blue purple shawl and a beret is acrylic yarn. It's the Dragonfly Cowl Shawl by Something U, S-O-M-E-T-H-I-N-G, and then E-W-E. -E. So here is that one. Can you guys see the butterflies on there? Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I just love that. And there is the beret. Okay, and then let me get the other pile. The next one, it says multicolor turquoise pink and yellow is the virus. And it is acrylic yarn stitch studio by Nicole. Uh, it's an AC Moore yarn. And of course, you know, AC Moore is out of business. And I think some of it went to Premiere but I don't know about that color, it's really pretty. Okay, and then it says pink and turquoise dragonfly with virus edge. Uh, I don't know, I think that's this one. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Yes, you see the dragonflies, and then it's got little the virus part on the edging. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and then it says orange and turquoise multi is a virus blanket or a virus shawl. And it's, she just says acrylic yarn. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Wow, Sharon, you're a machine. Okay, and then, oh, maybe I missed one. Here is, there's two more in here, but we can all tell what this is. This is a butterfly shawl, so pretty absolutely gorgeous can you guys see all of that 
Oh my gosh. And then here is the last one that she sent. And it's also a butterfly shawl. Oh my God, I love the way you did the colors so you could totally see the butterflies in there. Wow, Sharon, these are incredible. Thank you so much for sending all of these beautiful shawls. That is amazing, amazing that you did all of that and then you donated it to Wings. That's incredible, thank you so much. Okay, we got two more boxes, guys. The next box comes from Sharon and she's from Wisconsin. Hi, neighbor. And she sent this cute card and it had a matching envelope. Oh my gosh, just a note. She writes, hi Rose, here are some shawls for June. A few of them have shawl pins. Some of them have no patterns. The others are identified with a small piece of paper tucked in them. Thank you for being such a blessing to Wings and the fiber community, your yarny friend, Sharon. And then she says, hi carrots in the zoo. <laughs> so here we go, are you guys ready? All right, this first one, it says, pineapple peacock shawl by Amy Gunderson. Oh my gosh and it's a latte cake. <laughs> Does this get any prettier? Can you guys see the pineapples? <gasps> that is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I need to go check that out for sure. Okay, this one says, oh, it's also the pineapple peacock shawl by the same person, Amy Gunderson. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Look at that. I need to go try that one for sure. Okay, this one says, guess what? Pineapple peacock shawl. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are just beautiful. Oh my gosh, I hope that's a free pattern because I want to go and check it out. <laughs> All right, this one, there's no note, but you guys, it's a granny. And I love grannies and look at the pretty border on the top. I'm always so lazy to do borders on mine. <laughs> All right, this one says, it's got a shawl pin and it says it's the Pure Innocent Shawl by Bag O'Day. And there is the shawl, it's beautiful. And this one has a shawl pin attached to it. Oh my gosh, it's never ending and it's un un phenomenal. Okay, here's the note for this one. Dragon F in Shawl Modified by Naughty Magpie pattern Margaret Heritz, H-E-R-I-C-Z. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love those dragon scales, dragon wings. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, let's see if there's a note in this one. has a note and a pin. It's called Lean On Me Shawl by Stitch With Passions. Okay, so here we go. I don't know if I'm holding it up correctly. This looks like an asymmetrical shawl. So pretty. There's the pin. <laughs> okay, and then this one, let's see. There's no note. That's so pretty. It's purple, so it doesn't matter if there's a note. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love the way it curves like that. That's so pretty. Does that make it sit on your shoulders better? Probably, right? Okay, this one just says no pattern. And I think that's a mandala cake. And that's so pretty too. That's amazing if that's no pattern. You just made that up on your own? That is so much talent. Oh my gosh. Okay, here is one that says curved top shawl by Bag O'Day. Okay, I haven't seen this one. I'm gonna have to go and take a look at our good friend, Crystal. Go check out her shawl tutorials. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And there is the top part. And then we have what looks like a virus shawl. And I don't think there's a note, but that's okay, because we know it. Oh, there is a note. Hold on. Virus shawl by Fiber Spider. That is so pretty. Wow. I just love those colors. Oof. Okay, and then we have this one more, and it's a big one. It's got a shawl pin, and it says it's called the Solitude Shawl by Christia Pruitt, P-R-U-I-T-T. -T. And this is stunning. Okay, so you guys probably can't even tell how big this is. Oh my gosh, look at that. 
<laughs> that's just one half of it. <gasps> wow, my goodness gracious, Sharon, this is incredible. That's like, like a dozen shawls <laughs> in one box. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for donating all of those shawls and taking the time to write the patterns down and just spending your money on the shipping on them and just everything. We really appreciate it. Okay, we got one more box. All right, so the last box actually came from Amazon and there was a note in the box and it says, thank you Rose for making this charity available. Often human nature makes us think that any charity is overflowing with donations and sadly that's not the case. Thank you again for being that extraordinary person from Gina Ingram. Gina, thank you so much for sending, she sent a crap ton of stress balls. <laughs> so um, I apologize. I'm not going to take them out of the packaging. So you might hear a little crinkling. So I apologize. So there is a big set of these smiley face and wacky face stress balls. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> and then there is a big package of these. They're called galaxy stress balls. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. And then there are these which are like uh, globe stress balls, so cool. And then three packages of these sets of four stress balls. So I really appreciate that, Gina. That is so incredible. Um, for those of you who are watching, you do not need to order stress balls from Amazon. Please do not do that. This is extraordinary and I so appreciate it. Um, but they would take so much comfort, not only in these, which are so, so much appreciated, but in the handmade ones too. So no need to go to Amazon and order stress balls because this is like such a huge supply already. So just whatever you can send in that you can make by hand would be very much appreciated. All right, guys, that's it. Check back with me tomorrow and hopefully I will have a list of the thank you gift winners for the month of June. How exciting. All right, guys, take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.